Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about while loop in python programming so guys previously we have seen how the for loop works in the python programming now the python while loop is used to run a specific code until a certain condition is met so basically in the for loop there was no such condition that we had provided but it was iterating through a list that we had provided in the form of a variable but over here this is the syntax of the while loop first of all we have the while keyword over here and then we have a certain condition and if this condition is true then only the control flow will go inside the body of the while loop and then again the control flow will come over here it will check the condition again and if the condition is true once again it will again go inside the body of this while loop so guys again and again the control flow will come inside the while loop until and unless the condition becomes false so when this condition becomes false the control flow will come out of this while loop and that is how the while loop is going to work in the python programming so guys let us check this with the help of examples now so let's say we want to print the first five numbers that is 1 to 5 so over here initially we can have the variable that is i it is equal to 1 and the second variable that is j it is equal to 5 so this is the starting point that is i equal to 1 and the ending point is j is equal to 5 so basically we can have a while loop over here we will simply have the while keyword and the condition that we have to give is whether i is less than or equal to j and up to that condition we want to print the value of i so basically it is i less than or equal to j over here so if this condition is true we want to print the value of i which will be 1 initially so basically i want to print this number that is i over here now guys what exactly is happening over here is i's value is 1 initially j value is 5 initially so is i less than or equal to j in the first instance yes in this case so i will be printed which is equal to 1 so again it will go inside the while loop and it will check whether 1 is less than or equal to 5 yes in this case so guys we are not changing any of the values that is i or j over here so this will be infinite loop because again and again the condition will be true and the number that is i which is equal to 1 will get printed indefinitely so what we have to do is we have to increment the value of i because after 1 we want to print the value that is 2 over here so what we will do is we will simply add 1 to i so i it is equal to i plus 1 we can also use the shorthand method that is i plus equal to 1 over here so what will happen now is i's value is updated to i plus 1 which will be 2 now so is 2 less than or equal to 5 yes in this case and then again 2 will get printed and then i will again get incremented over here so the i's value will be 3 next time i's value will be 4 and then again i's value will be 5 and then ultimately when i's value is 6 this condition will become false that's because 6 is not less than or equal to 5 and the control flow will come out of the while loop so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see all the numbers that is 1 2 3 4 5 is getting printed after the i's value is 5 over here 5 is getting printed now i's value becomes 6 over here that's because 5 plus 1 will be 6 and is 6 less than or equal to 5 because the j's value is 5 over here in this case so no the condition becomes false and the control flow comes out of the while loop now what if we want to print all these numbers on the same line so simply inside the print statement we can have the comma and then we can have the end operator and then let's say we want to separate all the numbers with the space characters so inside the double quotes we have provided the space character over here so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see 1 2 3 4 5 is getting printed over here we can have any numbers over here let's say i is starting from 11 and let's say we want j is equal to 20 so in this case 11 to 20 should get printed let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see 11 12 13 14 and up to 20 numbers are getting printed over here so guys this is the main functionality of the while loop it is going to have a certain condition and if this condition is true the block of code inside the while loop will get executed and once the condition becomes false control flow comes out of the while loop now guys we can also use the else part with the while loop so over here as you can see python while loop with the else part so a while loop can have an optional else block as well the else part is executed after the condition in the while loop evaluates to false so basically after this while loop we can also have the else part which is optional so we can have the else part over here what we will do is we will simply have the print statement that is outside the while loop so we have the print function and we will say outside while 
loop over here. So let me just save this file and try running this code now. So as you can see, 11, 12, 13, up to 20 numbers are getting printed. And then on the same line, the outside while loop, the statement that we have provided in the else part is getting printed. So this is the functionality of the else part after the while loop. It is optional. If you want to have, we can have it or else we don't need to have it. But guys, the important thing is inside the while loop, we can provide a particular condition and the control flow will go again and again inside the while loop until the condition is true. Once a condition becomes false, the control flow will come out of the while loop. Now guys, what you should use? whether you should use the python for loop or python while loop over here so guys basically they are used based on the specific requirements so as you can see for loop is usually used when the number of iterations is known so as we had seen previously in the for loop we provide a particular sequence and iterate through that sequence by giving one value at a time to a variable and we use that variable inside the block of the for loop but in the while loop there is a condition so while loop is usually used when the number of iterations are unknown so we don't know the number of iterations we don't have the sequence of elements or the list of numbers through which we want to iterate so basically we provide the condition in the while loop so based on these requirements, you can choose whether you want to use the while loop or you want to use the for loop. But guys, it is very important that you practice both these loops. The implementation of these loops are very important as far as Python programming is concerned. So guys, that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is break and continue keywords in Python programming. So stay tuned.